Hey, people. Hello, hello. She got vague, you know, lose Vega. And Project Home. And Project Home. Alright. And a whole bunch of rain. Yeah, we have a storm. A storm brewing. The rain hasn't really hit here too hard yet, but, like, the wind has been, like, throwing some stuff around. It is what it is, though. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. uh, first off, I want to thank Ed, our buddy Ed, for going out on a run with us today. Yeah, thank you very much. That was yeah. We yeah, had fun running cool. around with Ed today. That was cool. And that's one of those situations where it was like it was meant to be. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. We ended up running into a. A guy named Chaplin. And uh, they knew each other. So. We got Chaplin's card. And I think we're going to do some more work. Work with him in the future. He does the same thing we do. Basically. They just do it differently. Yeah they were out. Out in Wilmington by. Kind of by the train station. Down by like Sunday breakfast mission. Yeah. And they had a couple of tables set up and they're like providing lunch. It was a beautiful thing, man. And near that potato salad was good. Yeah, it was. You know, they fed us. We brought them some supplies. We brought them like a case of water, a case of uh, hand sanitizer, a and case, case of, of hot sauce. Hot sauce and a case of uh, face masks. Might as well, like, spread it around, you know? Yep. And while we were with Ed, we, we were able to go hit at least a half a dozen people. Uh, beyond that. Yeah, we were running around looking for more, but I think the fact that it was hot, people yeah. were hiding. Yeah. And trying to stay cool. And I, we took a run into, like, uh, what was that, Rodney Square. But they have it all shut down for construction. So, like, the spots where the homeless hang out, they not there today. Uh, I ran around checking some of the other spots. But Ed was with us for our first run. Yeah. And me and Faye made a second run. We also had to go pay our phone bill. So since we had to go back out anyway, might as well turn it into a run. Mm -hmm. And we were able to find, uh, we were able to find the tall dude. The guy that didn't, uh, speak before for a while. Yes. Man, as soon as we pulled up, he was like, Hey, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Dude, that alone pretty much broke me. <laughs> like, and we went from him not talking at all to him being the first one to initiate conversation. Yes. Like. That kind of broke both of us. Yeah. The yeah. first time we met him, it took him at least 20 minutes or longer to even start talking, let alone get up and come to us. So, the fact that we saw him that day and he started talking to us right away, it did, it kind of broke us. Yeah. But in a good way, because... It got me all choked up. He's, he's doing good. He's doing real good. He looks so much better. Yes, he does. And, like, he's talking and he's active, like... He even had a hospital band on, so, like, he's been taking care of himself. Yeah. Like, dude, I, I couldn't be any happier with that, you know? Forward progress. Yeah. You know?
But yeah, we had a good day. Didn't see everybody we wanted to, but you have days like that. Yeah. We're only about we we're only able to get out to about a dozen people. But hey. I have a feeling with this storm coming. We're not gonna have to really find them. I think they'll find us. Another night where I'm not going to get any sleep. But Could screw that. Well. Screw yeah. that, man. At a certain point, I'm unplugging that light. <laughs> I'm, a, dude. I am. At a certain point, I'm going to unplug that back light, and we're taking 24 hours. We are. We are. We're taking 24 freaking hours. Okay, it must be hit, just hitting on the air conditioning because at first I was like... It's clicking, I, you hear it? Yeah, I was looking out to make sure that it was actually just rain. What was it, last, sometime last week we actually had... Hail. Freaking decent size hail. I don't like lightning. No. Yeah, I don't, I don't like lightning. I don't care if you call me scaredy cat. I don't care if you call me a puss. I don't care if you call me you know, like. Of course you don't like lightning. This man has gotten struck six times by lightning. I don't think he would like lightning either. <laughs> I am freaking paranoid and terrified of it. Like. <laughs> I wouldn't like it either. Although, like, if you see me out in it, I'm out there cussing it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I get called out in that kind of crap, I'm out there cussing up a storm. I can't help myself. I cannot help myself. <laughs> there have been a couple of times where I'll go out and I'm like, Fine, if you're going to do it, just fucking do it. Just get me. Fuck. Stop making me flinch. Fuck. <laughs> I'd rather just get hit. You know what I mean? Fuck, I've been asleep before. I, I'm not, not afraid of being unconscious. I'm not afraid of getting knocked the fuck out. I can always use the rest. <laughs> oh. Watch how you drive, people. Because if you drive too slow, you might be called a racist. <laughs> we had another friggin' bus pull up next to us today. Given, given a shit because apparently my racism was showing because I wasn't going fast enough around a turn. What? <laughs> yeah. Because I wasn't, because I wasn't moving fast enough, and I was impeding people of color behind me. That made me racist. I was like, that makes you a clown. What the fuck are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, we laughed about that for a good 20 minutes at least, if not a half hour. Yeah. Like, you really got no, no real legitimate thing to bitch about other than we were in your way, and that that makes us racist. <laughs> Somehow we were slowing him okay. down. We're coming okay. around a turn to a light. Yeah. We were slowing him down yeah. to get where he needed to go. So, we're racist. Yeah, I was coming around the turn, and the light up in front of us, and it started turning red, so... 
I got off the gas and started slowing down. Because somebody told me that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that in front of certain people. Because that's racist. Yeah, you might be labeled a racist. <laughs> Who gives a flying fuck? <laughs> You can label me anything you want. I don't care. You want to throw a label at me? Yeah. Brother P-Touch has a label maker. You can get them all fancy now. You can even do them with fucking sparkles. Have at it. Have fun. <laughs> See how much I give a shit. Motherfucker, I, ain't, I don't even get to sleep most of the fucking time. Like, dude, it is coming down. And there ain't nothing but lightning just flashing. And we got a couple of new things for our upstairs set. Yeah, yeah. We got some leaves and some ivy, some fall leaves. Dude, I'm just sitting here watching. Them. Like I got my door cracked. Yeah, I'm bringing it out. I got the door cracked, so I'm like looking out it. And uh, yeah, it's just going down. But. We went to Walmart, and we got a case for our phone. Yes, we did. I got an otter box for the phone. Cause $2. Because we're, we're living large Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm big pimping over here. Tell them that we got a fancy ass. Yeah, it was $2. <laughs> Clarence. Clarence. Dude, my best friend is Clarence. Yeah, it was two dollars. I looked at Faye, I was like, Faye, it's two dollars. I'm buying it. It's two dollars. <laughs> we have two dollars. She was like, yeah, but we need to get soda. And I'm like, if it's a just purchase, the good Lord will find us two dollars. And he did. It happened. We got our soda. Yep. The good Lord found us five dollars. So we and, got three sodas. And we got three sodas, not two. So I got one sitting in the cooler right now. <laughs> and it goes how we make it, how we get by. That's how. The good Lord up above. The good Lord above. <laughs> yep. Just put all faith into him. Put it all into his hands. Yes, sir. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hold nothing back. You hold nothing back and you lift balls to the wall. He's gonna have your back. And he he, he does. At least for us. I got no complaints there. None. Nope. None. Today was a beautiful day, like I said. Like, the one day I bring Ed with me is the day that we run into chapel. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, what's the odds of that? Like, we've been running around in this city for a year and a half. We haven't ran into chaplain yet. Like, the one day I have Ed with me, we run into Chaplin, and they know each other, and, like, oh, man. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I get to make a video where I'm flinching. Great. Yeah, I'm still... Yeah, this is still going to be the video. Like, 
seriously, what do I got to hide? My damn thing. Yeah, exactly. What were the odds that, like you said, we've been yeah we've been helping Wilmington out for over a year. Yeah. And then today, when we have Ed with us, is when we meet Chapel. Yeah. He didn't even know it was was him until uh, we were there for about five minutes. I was walking supplies back and forth. <laughs> and a guy told me his name and everything. And I got back into the van, and Ed was like, "So, who were they?" And I was like. I know he told me. Hey, look, can you go get his card? And she did. And as soon as he saw the card and read it, he was like, I know him. I know that guy. <laughs> Hold on, do you mind if I go talk to him? Like, by all means, go talk to him. Go right ahead. <laughs> by all means. some more. We're definitely going to be working with Ed. Yeah. Very, very nice guy. Yeah. And he is so all about helping us and what we do. And, and helping the people out there. Yeah. Well, yeah, helping out. Helping us out. I mean, we, we started talking, though, and like I realized that we've been going seven days a week for like the last nine months straight. We're taking tomorrow off. We're doing it. Fourth of July, we're taking off. We're not. We're not going to be here. Nope. It's... It's absolutely freaking needed. Agreed. Like, I've been falling asleep in parking lots. I've been falling asleep everywhere if you leave me sit for more than like two minutes my head's against something I'm out like the last couple of weeks have been rough I, I got like eight hours of sleep one throughout an entire week maybe even if, if that yeah. I'm 49 at this point. If I want to make it to 50, I need more sleep than that. And there's been a couple people this week that we we just honestly we just acted like we didn't hear them knock at the door because it was like no, uh, -uh I I have to fucking sleep sometime. I know. Sometime. It, it, like, there, there has to be sleep. <laughs> I was literally at that point of, like, sleep deprivation where I was seeing trails. I was, like, hallucinating. I was starting to see, like, patterns moving around and crap. And I'm like... I know damn well I didn't drop acid. Like, I need sleep. I need sleep. I'm done. Dude, that lightning is fucking with me.
I used to work for an electrician. And they, they were always like amazed that like I would tap log panel boxes and just jump hot feeds and shit. But household electric does not compare. It does not compare to what lightning does. Not even remotely close. I couldn't give two craps about getting hit by some household electric. Like, they thought I was crazy, but like, again. I've been asleep before. I don't give a shit if I get knocked out or get concussed. Like, getting hit by lightning now? Mm-mm. 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 Dude. Mm. -mm. mm, -mm. Different thing. Completely different thing. It's not even in the same classification. Dude, I gotta stop looking out that fucking window. <laughs> I mean, I gotta stop looking out that door. Like, mm. you know how they say, if it hurts, stop doing it. You touch something, it hurts. Stop doing it. Stop touching it. That's why I'm keeping my ass inside right now. <laughs> Stop looking out the door. <laughs> you can't help it, man. You can't help myself. It's... Dude! Stop! <sighs> I, might be, I might be a little crazy, but I'm not stupid, alright? Okay, maybe somebody's disagreeing with that one. Okay, I might be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling me out on that one, big man. Thanks. Now could, it's silent. Yeah. Straight called you out on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. I can feel electrical storms in my freaking bones. I, I I'm not a fan. I think we might have to post the sign and start letting people know not to come up here after a certain freaking time. Cause like I, we need to have some sort of routine or schedule or something. I used to have it so that. If our back light was on, it was okay to come up. But like, people learn of us through word of mouth, so like, the rules don't ever get it, like thrown in there. They just tell tell people where we are and that we have resources, so they just come. You don't ever tell them not to come at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Or 
two or three or one. And I get it. We're the only people around that will actually help out during those hours. I mean, I get that. I do. But I think what we're going to do is, like, build a little pantry or something out here where, like, a, like a little closet or something. That way, if you need first aid, there's some first aid in there. If you need ponchos, there's some ponchos in there. If you need food, there's some food in there. Like, just some of the emergency type stuff. So they don't have to wake me up. At least something to hold them over through the night. I can't be on call 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah, I, I just can't be. We, need, we both need to sleep at some point. People have been killing me with this shit. I can't, I can't keep it up like that. Like, although it, it has come in handy sometimes, like, One girl woke me up, and she wanted something out of the kitchen, so I took her down, and it was, you know, storming out, so, like, if she didn't need something, and I didn't agree to take her into the kitchen, I wouldn't have found out that the kitchen was flooding during the last big storm. So, like... Again, I can't really complain or bitch. Because it was like... She was a godsend. You know? If it wasn't for her... The whole, the whole kitchen would have flooded. And then it would have, like, went out into the friggin' hall. And then we would have had all kinds of damage. Yeah. See, the train agreed. So... It's like the butterfly effect. You gotta take the bad with the good. Yeah. A lot of times it's the bad that leads to the good. Yep. Well, let's see. How are we doing? We're good. I'm just exhausted. I'm trying not to look out the door. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying not to look out the door, okay? Good grief. I, Faye, I can't help it, okay? We're at 29 minutes, so we gotta wrap this up. Yep. Alright, um... Again, thanks to Ed. Thanks to Chappy. Uh... Thank you to Billy and Laura, because... Yes, we found... If it wasn't for our... The one couple that's out here, we yeah. would not... We actually found a new site. Yeah, they they set us on to a, another place. So we went back around and went and checked them out. Sure, Very nice people. Sure enough, their campsite needed all kinds of stuff. Yeah. And that's how I find most of my spots, or like most of my people, is other homeless, like, give me leads. Campsites get cleared out all the time. 
the vandos get cleared out all the time. So, like, you just gotta go around finding people. It's like a never-ending, like, hunt for people. But. We love you. Yeah, we love you guys. Sorry it's been a while. We it's have just, been so busy around here. Yeah. Like, last week I had two nights that I got up to four hours of sleep. That's all I got all week long. So, like, there was no videos getting shot. It was just yeah. run, 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 park. Run, 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 park. Like... I'm going to try to make this week a little, little bit easier on me. Yeah. I need to. I need to. Like, you spread way too thin. Happens to be one of my favorite songs. Spread too thin. Anyway, love you guys. Be good to each other. Yeah, be good to each other. Be good to yourselves. Hey, don't, don't, don't be like me. Don't, don't do. Don't put yourself out so much that you, you forget that you have to take care of yourself. I, I, I'm an idiot. Don't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't do what I do. Love you guys. Later. Later.